I'm Hisham Shirvati from the Hebron Defense Committee. Uh, we are standing today at Ibn Rushd Square in solidarity with the Palestinian administrative detainees in their position to boycott the Israeli legal system. Uh, now, during all the years of the occupation, uh, the Israeli authorities have been arresting thousands of Palestinians without charges uh, as administrative detainees for six months renewable. The Israeli legal system, unfortunately, approves it uh, to the Israeli authorities and the Palestinians consider this as approving the illegitimate, approving the illegal, and that we consider the Israeli legal system as not a system to achieve justice. Uh, so now the Palestinian detainees, after uh, 50 years of the occupation, they have decided to boycott the Israeli legal system of appeal and uh, for the administrative detention. That is from one side. From the other side, we are also standing in solidarity with the uh, or in refusal to the Israeli position uh, lately drafting a law that deprives the Palestinian Authority from their uh, taxes and money uh, that goes to the families of the Palestinian detainees. Uh, this is a humiliation to the Palestinian uh, to the Palestinians. Uh, this is a humiliation to the families of the prisoners. Who, who are serving times in a prison, defending their people. And I think every person has the right to a decent life, including the families of the prisoners, uh, of which Israel tried to approve, uh, to deprive them from uh, a limited source of income that comes from the Palestinian Authority. Uh, you know, putting aside all the political elements, I think uh, every person in the world, uh, and it is a basic law, have the right to fair and just trial and administrative detention contradicts completely with basics of justice. That's from one side. From the other side, when we talk about the families of the prisoners, also every person in the world have the right to have a decent life. And in a country in the world, if any families have uh, economic problems, uh, it's the responsibility of their government. Uh, they create social insurance systems uh, or some system to sustain these families and let them live in dignity, as I said, as a basic right. When Israel wants to deprive the Palestinians from that, as I said, this is a slap on the humanity. This is against uh, basic uh, sources of uh, dignity and uh, respect. And then uh, we hope that we get international support to these issues uh, which are uh, purely humanitarian and uh, uh, part of our struggle for justice. Now, at this time we say that those detained ones and the, their families, uh, they deserve a decent life and till the time that they are free.